excellent. Okay, hi everyone who's joining. Welcome. Just looking at all the controls here and then we will start. Awesome. Hi everyone. Welcome. We'll start in about one minute. Okay. All right. Well, hi everyone. My name is Chantal. Uh, I am a boxing coach. I'm in Ottawa uh, and uh, I run a boxing club here and uh, I'm really excited to, to get to be invited by Best Buddies today to, to do a little bit of a, a boxing session with uh, all of you. So uh, whether you've boxed before or you have not boxed before, all are excellent options. So we're going to start with uh, introducing a few punches and then we'll get right into throwing them. So you don't need any equipment today. Um, if you're inside, you know, socks, bare feet, running shoes, all good, no equipment needed. So I'm going to back up a little bit here so you can see more of me. So the first thing when we're boxing that we need to do is to get into our boxing position. And so to do that, we're gonna start with our feet and our legs being positioned properly. So you're gonna take the hand that you use to write, draw, throw a ball, your dominant hand, I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna put my right hand up here. And then with my leg that's on the same side, so for me it's my right leg, I'm gonna take a step backwards. Okay, so I've got one leg in front of me and one sort of behind me. I'm going to bend my knees so that I'm good and balanced. If someone came by and gave me a little bit of a shove, I wouldn't fall over. Okay. And then with our upper body in our boxing stance, you're going to make your hands into fists. Put your fists right by your cheeks. And sometimes people end up, I call them chicken wings. Okay, we don't want any chicken wings when we're boxing. We want to tuck the wings in nice and tight, and this is your boxing position, uh, sometimes called your guard position. Okay, so with my fists up here, I'm ready to throw punches, I'm ready to block punches, whatever I need to do. All right, so <clears throat> in your boxing stance, like this, we're going to do our first punch. Our first punch is called a jab, okay? And a jab is going to be with my non-dominant hand. So it's the one that's a little bit further in front. Like I said, I have one leg in front, one foot in front. Same with my hands. Okay, I have one hand a little bit in front. And my jab is gonna go straight out and then straight back. It's a fast punch and it's the most used punch in boxing. It goes straight out and straight back like this. Okay, so try that a few times. Send it out and then bring it right back to your cheeks. Straight out, back to your cheeks. Just like that. Okay, it's fast. When you punch, if you were punching like a punching bag or a pad or something, you would want the punch to land kind of right, right on your middle knuckles here. Okay, so don't high five style it, no punching like that. Knuckles point forward. Okay, our next punch. We did our jab. This next one is called a cross, okay? Same idea, but with my other hand. This is my dominant hand this time. It goes straight out and straight back, okay? So I can do it with one hand and it's a jab, my other hand and it's a cross, okay? So now we're gonna put them together. 
All right, so we're going jab cross. So one punch straight out and straight back, and then the other punch straight out and straight back. Okay, I'm gonna put a timer on. We're gonna practice for 40 seconds. Okay, we're doing 40 second rounds. Okay, jab cross, touch your cheeks. Here we go. Ready, let's box. Jab cross, touch your cheeks. Just like that. Straight out, straight out, and then back to my boxing stance or your guard position, same thing. Okay. This is called a combination. A combination means that you're combining some punches. So it just means that you're doing more than one punch, one after the other. Excellent, 10 more seconds to go. Jab cross, boom, boom. Jab cross, three, two, one. And relax your arms for a second, give them a shake out. If you've just joined, welcome to our little boxing session today. My name's Chantal, I'm a boxing coach in Ottawa. All right, I'm gonna show you a new punch. Okay, we did jabs and crosses, those are straight punches. Now we're gonna do a hook, okay? In your boxing position, at the beginning when we got in our boxing position, I said no, uh, no chicken wings like this, okay? Throwing a hook is the only time, only time in boxing we do that chicken wing, okay? So when you do a hook, you lift your elbow up, so you chicken wing your arm, and your punch goes across in front of your face. Okay, I'll show you from the side. Chicken wing up, and it goes across like that. So instead of going straight out, it goes sideways. Okay, let's try a few of those. You can do it with either hand, do it with both hands, throw a few hooks here. Chicken wing, punch. If you get good at that and you wanna add some extra power to your punches, you can see what I'm doing is I'm twisting my whole body when I throw the punch. So instead of just punching sideways, I'm turning my whole body to go with it. And that will add some extra power onto your punches. And when you hit a punching bag, if you hit a punching bag, you get the crack smack sound. Okay, we're gonna do another combination now. Okay, remember combination just means more than one punch, one after the other. So we're gonna put them all together and we're gonna go jab, cross, hook. Okay, straight, straight, hook. 40 seconds, here we go, ready? And box. Jab, cross, hook. And then remember, after you do your punches, your fists always come right back to your cheeks. Jab, cross, hook, cheeks. Jab, cross, hook, cheeks. Jab, cross, hook, cheeks. 15 seconds to go. Keep throwing the punches. Make sure your hands come right up to your face. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Gonna teach one defensive move and then we're gonna do uh, some speedy stuff uh, at, uh, at the end of the session, okay? All right, so there's a few ways you can uh, defend yourself when you're boxing. So we've done punches, that's our offense. For defense, there's a few options. The one I'm gonna teach you today is called a slip, okay? A slip means that I tilt my upper body just a little bit to the side, okay? I do that, back up a little bit. I do that by just bending one of my knees. So my feet don't actually move. I bend my knee a little bit, and you can see I tilt over to this side, or I bend my knee and tilt over to the other side, 
Okay. Do you recommend boxing? Oh, good question. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll do, we'll do this round and then I'll answer that question, okay? So, slips. When you see boxers in the ring and they do this, they're moving out of the way so that a punch can go whoosh just past their heads, okay? Don't tilt over like this, okay? Like the, the teapot dance, don't do that, okay? So this time, we're gonna go jab cross and then a little slip, okay? So just a little bit to one side, my hands still stay by my face for extra protection, okay? Here we go, 40 seconds, ready, let's box. Jab, cross, slip. Jab, cross, slip. You can try going both ways. One way will probably be a little bit easier or more comfortable. That's fine. Jab, cross, and a slip. Jab, cross, slip. Slip. This is like a, a classic boxer move. So I like to teach this one when we only have a short time. Jab, cross, slip. 15 seconds. Slip. Remember when you slip, your feet don't move. You just bend your knee a little bit. If you're a standing boxer, if you're a seated boxer, you just use your, your side, but you wanna to slip too and you kind of do a side crunch. You just tilt a little bit to that side. Same idea. And relax. Uh, so to answer your question, yes. Uh, boxing is, is great strengthening for uh, upper body, shoulders, core. Um, and there's lots of ways that boxing can be modified. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, maximum intensity, highly competitive. Boxing is very adaptable. You can do it sitting, standing. If you're stronger in one arm than the other, you can set up combinations to work with that. Um, and, it, and it's great for fitness if you want the fitness side of it. Okay, so we'll do one more combination and then we're gonna finish with some speed, okay? So this time we're gonna go cross hook and then our slip move, okay? So a cross, remember that's my dominant hand, the hand that's a little bit further back. A hook is the chicken wing one, and then a slip where you tilt to one side. Here we go. Ready, and box. Cross, hook, and a slip. Cross, hook, slip. Cross, hook, slip, cross, hook, slip. Good, remember you can slip to whichever side you like, practice both, 20 seconds to go. Cross, hook, slip, cross, hook, slip. 10 seconds, good, throw those punches. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, we'll take 30 seconds off, take some deep breaths. Boxing means you're working out. Yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, Jack, when you're boxing, you are, you're definitely working out. And it might be for all sorts of different reasons, but yes. Okay, while you're uh, taking a little breather there, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna finish with, okay? We call this a punch out in boxing. And it means that you finish your workout working as hard as you can, okay? So it's at your level, but you try to work your hardest, okay? Whatever that means for you. So this is what we're gonna do. In our boxing stance, 
We're gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross over and over, but this time you're gonna do it as fast as you can, okay? So in 15 seconds, you're gonna do as many punches as you can do. So it looks like this. Okay, so fast, you can barely see your own hands on the screen. All right, and we're gonna do that three times. So we'll do as many punches as we can, take a little break, and then we'll do it again. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and go. 15 seconds, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. As many punches as you can do. That's five seconds done. That's it, keep going. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Take a couple big deep breaths. We're gonna do that two more times to finish. Okay, this is the part of the, the boxing workout that is uh, getting you breathing especially hard, makes you sweaty, maybe stinky, all good news. All right, here we go. Get ready, 15 seconds, as many punches as you've got. In three, two, one, and let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Send those punches out as quick as you can. That's five seconds. Keep going, good work. 10, four, three, two, one, and relax. We'll do that one more time. Some people can count their punches when they do this and they can see how many they get. I find that very challenging myself. Couple deep breaths, get ready. Last one. In three, two, one, and go. 15 seconds, as many punches as you can do. It's five seconds done. Keep on going. That's 10 seconds done. Three, two, one, and rest. There we go. So everyone, if you have questions or you wanna talk about boxing, I'll, I'll stay on for a few minutes. Um, I hope that uh, that was interesting. If, if you wanna know more, you can uh, get in touch with Best Buddies and they know how to, how to get in touch with me if you're more interested in boxing options and online stuff. Uh, and thank you for coming. No problem, glad it was interesting to you. You're so welcome. Have a great day, everyone. Like I said, I'll hang on for a minute or two. If anyone has questions, I'd be happy to chat. Right, if everyone's all set, I'm gonna end the live. Enjoy your day.